The typical sport horse you see today is it's too round in the neck, too long, too round, sometimes too deep, sometimes too high. In any of these overbent positions, we call it yeah, holding in front, pushing behind, water skiing, however you want to call it. Um, this horse is automatically stressed because a flight animal with a stiff back is by nature in flight mode. Uh, a horse with a locked back wants to run away. This is what his nature tells him. So our goal should be, we want a soft, nice back. This is what, what we use the term suppleness for. You shake a little bit inside like an artist, just a little vibration and a release. How different head and neck positions will influence your horse concerning suppleness, well-being, softness, your own well-being. Step by step, we need the horse to lift up the rib cage between the shoulder blades. We call this self-carriage. A horse who is not supple cannot be trained in a classical way. The horse is laid behind, is group high, shows the discomfort again, so the horse is just in a, under stress. This movement in the mouth, she's playing with the, with the lips. The horse is way too short and too high. Many horses go in this position. This would be the goal we go for for the daily work. Top line on about with us level. And you want the horse to seek for the bit, to search for the bit, and let him, let the horse stretch down to the buckle. A half hold is only a half hold. You close your hands, you close your seat, you close your legs, and you give. And the giving finally softens the horse. And I think uh, it's high time to turn the wheel and come back to the system with the horse and not use a horse like a bicycle, make him do some uh, fancy steps in the sandbox and call this dressage because this is not dressage. Dressage is based on harmony and not on some tricks in the sandbox.